Hello everyone, welcome back to Denver Beard Reviews. Thank you all for stopping by the channel today, checking out this video. As always guys, if you could, please like, subscribe, and of course share the video with your bearded friends. Today's episode will be discussing a company out of Tennessee, if you could call that, um, that in my opinion you should avoid at all costs. We'll jump right into it right after the short introduction. Please stand by. Alright guys, welcome back and again, thank you all for checking out the video. As you know, uh, the majority of my reviews are pretty positive. I do give honest feedback um, if I didn't like a scent or I didn't like an ingredient. However, this is probably the first time I've done a review where I absolutely hate every ingredient, everything that this company stands for. Um, I just do not understand why someone would create a cosmetic line for men in this manner. Uh, they're doing everything wrong, guys, and I'm just trying to make you aware with my honest opinions as well as the facts of what you're putting into your hair and your beard while using these products. Today's company is American Barber Company out of Spring Hill, Tennessee. Even though the company's based there, I'll be honest, all of these products are kind of, they say that they are designed in the USA, but they're actually made in China. It says it clearly right there on the label. And there's probably a good reason why they're made in China. Um, I personally wouldn't take much pride in making these products if I was the company them um, myself. Um, the ingredients, the products, even the packaging kind of speak volumes for themselves, if you will. Um, but yeah, we'll jump right into it. I'll give you my reasons why I do not like these products. And I hope to God that you personally will not um, waste your money, for one as well as put these products in your hair and deal with the consequences later. So, um, we'll start off with the review with what they call beard oil. One ounce beard oil on their website runs you $20. Industry average being between $15 to $20. So this is on the higher end of the spectrum of the average, so still not a bad price point, but when you dig down into the ingredients, it's a horrible price point, and you're simply just wasting your money. Um, I believe it comes in three or four different scent profiles at the time of this video, one of which I have to review today. Um, I will say that the box that they come in is pretty nice. has their logo on the front, the scent profile, the ounces, another logo here on this side, another logo on this side. Another logo on the top, barcode on the bottom. On the back, it just tells you some information about taming an unruly beard, how to use it, and the ingredients list. And the ingredients are as follows, and please follow along. Cyclopentasiloxane. This ingredient is a silicone. Psycho, cyclo tetrasiloxane, so they have that listed twice. Um, Dimethanacol, which is another silicone. Phenyl trimethos, tri, excuse me, phenyl trimethicone, another silicone. Fragrance. Ethyl hexyl methocinamate, which is 
found in sunscreen products. So there's there is an ingredient that people commonly put on their skin. However, by making this, you mix a organic acid with alcohol. So, so far, all you're doing is putting a nice fragrance, three different silicones, and an alcohol in your oil, in your beard. To continue, almond oil. Yes, it's an organic ingredient. However, it's not that great in a beard oil. Um, it actually can block the pores that you're trying to moisturize underneath the beard, which also leads to beard acne. I mean, come on guys. And blue collar. Not real sure why this is in here because it's a, it's a gold collar. Why do they need blue collar as an ingredient? I'm not real sure. As you can see, this is the container that the oils come in. I will say it looks nice, but it doesn't function nice. Nice labeling, similar to what it comes in with the box. It's literally just a kind of wrap around plastic with the exact same information that is pertained on the box. Again, it says distributed by American Beard Brand, Spring Hill, Tennessee. So it's not made there. It's made in China. It's shipped back to them. They possibly put their own labels and box on. I'm not real sure. They may receive the final product in the mail and just put it out on, out on their shelves or on their website. Um, however, again, the bottle, I only popped this top once, guys, and look how bad it leaked. It's got a bright gold collar to it. This container is plastic. This is also a plastic top, and it's a squirt top function. Just so you know, I didn't put this in my beard. I refuse to put this in my beard. This is nothing but silicone, a nice bay rum fragrance, uh, just the normal bay rum that we're all used to, and alcohol. That's literally all this beard oil is, guys. Please, for the love of God, don't put this in your beard. Don't fall for it. It's just not worth it. Just so you know, this beard oil and the rest of the products that I have to show you will be going in the trash after this. Huh. But yeah, that's what they call beard oil. The next that we'll talk, next uh, product we'll talk about is their four ounce pomade. Similar labeling to what was on the the beard oil box as well as the label on the bo uh, label on the oil container um, it's a cheap plastic very flimsy um, I barely dropped the con the con I have two here in different scent profiles well a matted cream pomade and an actual gel pomade the gel pomade I barely dropped probably two feet and the lip cracked on it. So, poorly made container as well. And live on video, guys. I barely pressed in, and the bottom of the container actually cracked. I mean, <laughs> as you can see, guys, th this is very poorly made, and you're paying $20 for these as well, just like you would with their oil. Um, we'll start off with the matted cream. Neither one of these list an ingredient. Also, I couldn't find their ingredients list on their website, so I don't know what's in these. Um, the matted cream has a white creamy texture to it. Again, I didn't put this in my hair because I refused to. I don't know what's in it. And just from the ingredients that they have in their beard oils, I don't want to take a chance of putting this on my scalp. Nice, pleasant barbershop smell. Smells good. Smells like your old-fashioned barbershop. Just, I refuse to put it in my beard, or I refuse to put this on my scalp, and I refuse to put the oil in my beard. Uh, again, this runs $20. You have no idea what the ingredients are. Also manufactured in China and shipped over to the U.S. for dis distribution. Containers suck. 
quality of the products are not that great either. This is their gel pomade. It's about halfway full when you receive it. And as you can tell, this is not floating on the top. This is actually inside the product. You see that little black speck there? Uh, hoping that the light will adjust. See those little specks in the product itself? That's what comes, see, and it's leaking out of the thing. I don't know how much of a hold that this will actually provide, but there's also, you probably can't see it, but there's dirt in the bottom of the container that it was shipped in. So yeah, that's the quality that you're getting with American Barber, guys. This is an also, I think, a sister brand, um, but it was also shipped along with the others. It's called Lewis Barber, just as bad. This one actually did list the ingredients on it, and we'll go over those. The, the pomade is water sorbitol, which is also used as a uh, manufactured sweetener, guys. So at least your hair will, will smell sweet, I guess. Um, you can also find them in cleaners, peelers, creams, deodorant, mouthwash, toothpaste, hairspray. Um, it can hold in moisture within the hair, but that's about the only benefit to that ingredient. Um, the next one is polyvinyl pyrolidone. Sorry if I butchered that. Um, it's what gives the uh, gel pomade its hold. Um, it's also used in quite a bit of different hairsprays and gel pomade, stuff like that. The next ingredient is VP slash VA copolymer. And that is, helps trap in the moisture and is derived from petroleum. So you're basically putting petroleum jelly in your hair. Um, beeswax, a natural ingredient. Perfume, to give it its smell. The sodium EDTA. This is used to treat lead poisoning as well as preserve the product. So that's a preservative. Um, methyl, methyl, so... So, I can't even say this word. Methyl self xylene. It's another preservative, um, but it's known to cause irritation both on the skin as well as from in inhalation from using the product. It's commonly found in the use of creating paper, uh, adhesive, as well as pesticides. So, throw that into your pomade as well. The look of it. It's a gel purple color to it. Can't really see through to the bottom of it like you could with the blue one. Um, so I don't know if there's any dirt and grime down in the bottom of the container. Um, but yeah, again, another product that I refuse to put in my hair. This also runs you $20 again, guys. So um, not even really that great of a deal. The ingredients are horrible. The containers are horrible. Um, just, this is simply a company that are absolutely doing everything wrong, uh, in the men's cosmetic world, both on the pomade and the beard oil side. They also have other products, but again, just from this experience, I personally wouldn't pursue them. Um, another thing, and I mentioned this to the, if it's not the owner, whoever takes care of their social media, when I received my products, all of them were out of date or past the sell-by date. They said, oh, it'll be good for another year after sell-by date. Didn't offer any apology. Um, it was just kind of one of those, okay, deal with it. Um, they're running the business wrong. They don't care about the customer. They don't care about what you're putting in your hair. And I, I'm probably pretty sure that they hopefully don't use their own products. Um, this is simply why some of the men's line care products get a bad rep. They're not made in the US. They're not of quality. <laughs> Even the containers are poorly made. I mean, you probably hear that clicking. I barely touched the bottom of it and it cracked. I mean, guys,
these are just going in the trash. Um, I just wanted to make you all aware, please don't try these products. They're not worth it. There's much, much better products out there. Check out my reviews. Give them a try uh, of the other companies, not this one. If you have any questions, concerns, any issues, if you'd like some tips on uh, different scent profiles you're looking to try, uh, please reach out. Feel free to always message me. Um, check out me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, as well as TikTok. I uh, hope you all have a great rest of your day, guys, and I look forward to seeing you all on the next episode. Take care.